camera thingy for? Morning. The lady that has that is, is not here to. She's not here yet? She's not here to uh, check it. So, I'm sorry. No worries. No What are you asking for that? 30 bucks for it. 30? Much is your old jug, ma'am? I'm sorry. Um, Tay, on the jug. Who might get that? Me. Uh, you take five bucks? Let me, let me call my husband and ask him about that job. Okay. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Good luck. Uh, I'm going to the horse train. The jug is not for sale. Drug's not for sale, okay. I set it right over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, here you go. If you want to move that so that nobody tries to buy it. If I got both of those, would you do 15? Uh, say on the two for 15 instead of two for 20. Yeah, I go. All right. Those are um, vintage ones. Yeah, they're neat. Thank you. You need a stack, sir? No, I don't need one. There you go. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Uh -huh. Good luck with your sale. All right. Thank you. That's fine. Good morning. Morning. Are any of the signs for sale on the wall? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Are you the sign guy? Yeah. You selling any of them? Uh. About the only. So it's like the Volkswagen hook cap, but okay. the rest I'm kind of like. <laughs> yeah, I get that. What would you want for it? Uh, ten bucks. I will buy it. Uh, fifteen on. Yep. Okay. Exactly. Okay. That works. Uh, let me ask. Hey, Can I start a pile somewhere? Oh yeah, here I'll get a box. Perfect. There's boxes right on the end of that table. Okay. Thank you, sir. Not a problem. Just keep finding stuff, you know? Oh hey, load it up.
All right, I think I'm all done. I didn't see prices on some stuff, so. Oh, you let go of your sign. Yeah. Wow. Let's see, I told you 10 on that. Yeah, and I've got five and five, that's 20. And I was asking five for that. All right, 25. Five for those guys. All right, so 30. Uh, this was on the dollar box. Cool. 31, and then what about these two? Two for that. How about 35 for all of it? Is that... Yeah. That works for me. I appreciate it. Not a problem. Make you some money. <laughs> you know? There's got to get rid of it, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, uh... Now, what is the camera thingy for? I have a YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. Cool. It's called Cincinnati Picker. Oh, yeah. Cool. So I go to garage sales, find all kinds of stuff. And, I see. Yeah. Now, we've seen a couple people with that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Westchester, Westchester, yeah, yeah, I got a booth there. Yeah, okay. that's yeah, that. small world. Okay. That's hilarious. That's that I'm guy. John, by the way, man. Larry, Larry, Larry nice to meet Melissa. you. Nice Good to meet you, Melissa. Thank you. Well, thanks for letting me shop. Oh, hey, you know, want to add more? Go for it. It's We're just trying to yeah, these are my kind of sales. I love vintage stuff. <laughs> thanks, guys. Take care. Thank you. Good morning. How are you today? Good, how are you? Doing good. I'm gonna buy your two movies here. Okay. Would you do 30 for the pair if I bought both of these? Um, let me ask. I'll have to call my aunt. Okay. It's 20 and 20 is what he's gonna price that. Okay. What she's gonna price that. Hey, um, someone is asking about um, Jason's pop. There's one's a pop ride. It's the He-Man on a Battle Cat. He has $20 on it. And then the other one is a Skeletor. They're the big boxes. He, Jason has $20 on both of them. He wanted to know if he would take 30 for both. What do you say? Okay. How about 35? Can you split it with he me? He said, what about 35? He Back said in. that 20 was his lowest. Okay. Thank you for asking. Sorry. No, don't be. He, um... He is a collector. Okay. But so he kind of knows they yeah. are expensive. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm back at the warehouse. I only hit three sales today, but I actually found something at every sale. It doesn't happen all that often to where I find something at every sale, but I did pretty good. Show you guys what I got. First sale I went to, most stuff was like really overpriced. Like I was kind of surprised how high some of it was. Uh, but these two dolls I got, they had them priced at $10 each. 
and they've got a little bit of damage on the top the plastic you can kind of see there I got the pair for 15 so I'm into each one for 750 um, I think I looked this one up and the same one recently sold for 70 but with that damage I'm sure that's gonna hurt the value and this one I think I saw sold comps around 40 and 50 second sale I went to the people were really cool they had so much awesome vintage stuff I mean I love going to sales like that I got this Mickey Mouse Safari Club pillow just has awesome graphics not sure what year this is I would say 80s or 90s got a couple of Cincinnati Reds starting lineup figures for five each these aren't really valuable they might be worth you know ten dollars each but I'm just gonna keep these for my personal collection there's Johnny Bench and this one is Joe Morgan got a Volkswagen hubcap there Actually, this was on his wall. He sold me that for 10 bucks. I got this really cool Sony solid state radio. I have never seen one like this. It's not in great shape. I think it's missing a knob over here. And the uh, ring, I think, needs to be like re glued or something. But still, just a really cool looking radio. I got some Kenner girder and panel building set. Seemed like it was all in there, too. Uh, Kenner is a uh, local Cincinnati company. At least they were, anyways. So a lot of their toys are pretty collectible. I got this stuffed animal. Uh, this is Flynn and the horse from Tangled. And my daughter loves that movie, so I had to pick those up for her. And the last thing I got from his sale is this big metal shiner box sign made to look like a bottle cap. I thought that was pretty cool. Then the last sale of the day, I got these two Ninja Turtle movies. Uh, new in the Plastic, Blu-ray, Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze, and 3, Turtles in Time. I'm just going to keep these and let my kids watch them because they're in Ninja Turtles and I know they haven't seen any of the vintage stuff, so hopefully they'll like that. I also got two Funko Pops at that sale. Most of their Funko Pops... I wouldn't say they're overpriced. They're a good deal if you're just collecting because they were like six bucks each. But most of them you could get them on eBay for like $10 free shipping. So I didn't mess with those for resale. But the two that I found were He-Man Masters of the Universe. And my buddy Danny of Piqua Resellers is a big He-Man collector. So I picked those up for 20 each. And I was going to pick one anyway, so the timing was really good. So I went ahead and dropped those off to him. Before I end this video, I want to let you guys know the reseller rally is about a month away. It's June 5th at 6 p.m. What we did is we rented out a big riverboat. There's like, it holds 700 people, but we're only going to have about 200. Tickets are sold out, but if you want a ticket, shoot me an email. I'll put you on the waiting list. It's cincinnatipicker at gmail.com. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.